This Rugged Ridge all-terrain cargo liner is for those of you that have a 2011 and up JK and are looking to protect that rear cargo area of your Jeep when you're throwing some muddy, messy, dirty stuff in the back of your JK. You certainly don't want to mess up that carpeting in the back of the Jeep and this is going to be a lot easier to clean than the carpet will. This is going to fit in both your four-door and in your two-door JK and whether or not you have a sub in that rear cargo area, you are going to be able to use this, but if you do have that sub, you'll have to do a little bit of trimming in this corner here which we've cut out. This is going to be a high quality cargo liner but it is going to be a little bit less expensive than some of those more premium brands out there on the market. So if you're looking for something that's middle of the road as far as pricing but is still going to get the job done, then I think this is going to be a really nice option. This cargo liner is made out of a thermoplastic material so it's going to hold up really well and it's also going to give you a non-skid surface. Helping with that non-skid surface you have these, this uh, chevron design molded directly into the cargo liner. A lot of the other companies will use a diamond plate pattern. I like these chevrons, they are a little bit different. And of course, with all of these mats, you are going to get a side molded on them so that if you have any wet messes in the cargo liner, the sides are going to help retain that. Now down in this area where you do have the opportunity to cut out, if you have a subwoofer in the rear cargo area of your JK, you are not going to have as tall of a side over there. And over in this area also you have a little bit of a lower side, so you may get a little bit of spillage over the side if you have a lot of moisture on the cargo mat. And again, that's where some of those premium mats come into play. They are going to be a little bit more expensive, but they are going to have some taller sides. So depending on what you plan on hauling in your Jeep, one of those might be a better option if you have the budget for it. This is of course a very simple one out of three wrench installation. I hesitate to call it an installation at all. You'll be able to get this installed in about five minutes or less and only five minutes if you do have that subwoofer in the back of your Jeep and you have to do that little bit of trimming. This does come pre-marked right out of the package exactly where you, do, you have to make those cuts if you have that subwoofer and you can do it with a sharp razor knife or even just a pair of scissors. Once you've made that cut, if you need to, you simply drop this into place and you're finished. This is very, very simple. This mat is going to run you right around $75, and that is going to be a little bit less than some of those premium brands out there. For instance, the WeatherTech liners are going to be a little bit more expensive, and you are going to get a little bit of a higher side on those WeatherTech. But again, depending on what you plan on hauling, this is still going to do a really nice job of protecting the back area of your Jeep, also make it look a little bit more finished, and give you a non-skid surface to set items on. So if you're looking for a quality cargo liner at a fair price, I definitely recommend taking a look at this one from Rugged Ridge that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.